security officer does this. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Houston, sober me would have internally celebrated the fact that oh, I am not nope. going to prison for sneaking a knife past airport security yeah. and boarding a flight. Drunk me was offended. Oh, you can ask my buddy Ryan. Who's what right behind me. I looked at the security officer and I said, Hey! And I can hear yeah. my friends in line. Fuck. The security officer in uniform wearing a badge looks at me and says, Hey, wait, have you ever seen a fat terrorist? Voices 
In other words, if you want to talk about a moral responsibility, if you are a member of an oppressed group, historically, then LeBron feels it. That's great. That's, that's great that he responded the way he did. He's not making ad hominem attacks at Zlatan, although he points out, hey, look, you were saying kind of similar stuff where you're from, right? Like you, you were saying, hey, you know, my last name, whatever else, led to behavior toward me that, that I didn't like. And, and what's curious, by the way, LeBron could have gone on. I've heard interviews where, one interview in particular, where Zlatan was asked about Muhammad Ali, and immediately, he's like playing word association, immediately he says, the best, the greatest, my idol. And Zlatan is, you know, loud, and, and, he, and he celebrates himself the way Ali did, but if Ali's your idol, it's not just because he dragged a lot, it's because Ali stood up for what he believed in, and stood for his people, and, and oppression, and oppressed groups everywhere, really by the end of his career. So it is curious that Zlatan has that point of view about Muhammad Ali, had that point of view about himself in Europe, but then has this point of view about LeBron. And LeBron's response to me is pitch perfect. I don't think it could be any better. No ad hominem attack points out a hypocrisy. Says, hey, wait a minute. Why is that okay for you, but not okay for me? And most importantly, reinforces the idea that he feels a responsibility to do it. Not just that whether, well, I can do it, or I should just stay in my lane. No. LeBron's saying, I have a responsibility given my platform. Pitch perfect, I have to say, as usual by LeBron. No, Max, I have to disagree, and that's nonsense. Ain't nothing was pitch perfect about that response. As a matter of fact, I hated the response that LeBron James gave. And here's why. He should have addressed like whatever his name is, like the numbers on the house, and should have made them smell this cologne in that response. And by me saying that, because it's not about politics. It's not that LeBron James speaks out about politics. He's speaking out about humanity. This is what we talk about, humanity. What's going on in the black community these days? That's what LeBron James stands for. Growing up in Akron, Ohio, uh, you know, uh, coming up really without a father figure in his life, knowing why the purpose why he opened up a our promise school and, and, and wanted to provide such 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 great people to help these kids in these in these black communities you know, so they can get knowledge, so they can get up out of those communities and be something in life because you know we go through so much that it get overlooked. Okay, and what, what I'm not about to sit up here saying for is no athlete or no other person, especially okay. from another country, mm-hmm. tell one of our powerful, iconic figures how to speak up and how to be a black yes. man in America and be a leader yeah. in America. Yeah. I'm not about to yeah. tolerate it. And Braun should have addressed him like the numbers on the house, like I said before, because yeah. look, we right. deal with so Wait. much oppression ah. over 400 big. plus years. You talk about, you talk about things to nature where yeah. one of the figures are, are
You do with the frog. Ah. Where the frog? Yeah. Why? Another first double in your grade. 